Hi there, this is a communication channel. Let's start very basics of writing. In order to have a complete understanding of a fluency in a writing, uh, competitive writing, a uh, very compelling writing concept, and understand how to compose, how to uh, construct a compelling writing. Whether you are a very basic writer or a professional communicator or writer, you need to know the psychology of writing and the concept and the mechanism of how words, phrases, sentences work together, how it, how it can become a very compelling topic for the readers uh, that you could convey your exact message to them. That's why I set, I, uh, set the title Back to Basics. Uh, some of you may say basics are basics, we don't go back to basics. Basics is, uh, is, is kind of useless or very beginner, or very waste of time going on and on. But let's discuss one very important point. What is a very professional article or a paragraph or a column writing from businesses and analysis of situations. What is that composed of? Sure, you would come with words, phrases, sentences. So if you know not only the words, but the mechanism how it works, the mechanism will guide you to the very compelling, competitive, and professional, top-notch, We have three very basic words in a sentence. Subject, verb, object, or sometimes complement. If a subject is one word, it's easy, understandable. Sometimes it is not one word. It may contain adverbs, modifiers, quantifiers, phrases, and there are a couple of other uh, uh, phrases and words those come along as a subject or defining the subject around the subject that is making complicity. Now the second word that is verb. Sometimes it is auxiliary and sometimes it is main verb. Now the trouble comes when the subject is not one simple word. If subject is with modifiers, quantifiers, and subject is quite complex, the reader or sometimes the writers get very lost how to put, how to stage, how to set, or how to place the verb, or how to find the verb as a reader, how to find the main verb in that one simple uh, sentence then the complexity level grows up and intenses when your object in complex, uh, complement is not uh, very simple. It is the complex. So the complexity is here or the complexity is there. In between, the verb switches its place, sometimes near, sometimes far. That is how, as a writer, you kind of lost and how to write, how to set in place each word. And some, uh, as a reader, you're totally lost where to find the main verb. If you can't find the main verb in act, then you cannot get a very clear message of that sentence. And now, the last point of this video. For the next video, we will learn everything with examples. Do we really need all these modifiers, adverbs, and quantifiers around the subject? Do we really need simple main verb or auxiliary to add on it? Do we really need simple object and complement or a complex one? If we need it, then why? What is the reason behind that need for writing all that complexity? If we really don't need then how to ideate, how to start a very simple sentence. Stay with us, connected, for the next video. Thank you.